All right, it's 313 day, and this is a Detroit legend. Every time I come to Detroit, I always go see Mr. Mason. Ah, my man, Kobe. Right? But, but y'all didn't notice that Mason is the inspiration for Martin's character in the uh, Martin show. Yeah. Yeah, and he was a big time radio personality. And tell him about some of your characters that you did on radio that ended up on the TV show. Well, I'll start with the, uh, with Tommy. Yeah. Uh, I had a friend who was an attorney named Ray Page. If you ever go on Google and, and Google the picture, you'll see him. You go, oh, I see how they put that together. And uh, Ray was about 6'4". And Ray had a magnetic personality. And when he saw me walking with the producers and stuff, he didn't know what it was. Right. He's like, Page, you didn't come to the bar last night. I got the drinks ready for you. So they, they enjoyed that character and took that one. And right. then I did some characters on air. I did a uh, a gay character called Deucey, right. uh, who was a who was a Mr. Know It All, yeah. very hip that whole thing. And they turned that character into Shanene. And then uh, I did an old man character called, and I simply called him the old man, but he he, he do everything right. and took care of everything. And they turned that character into Otis, the security guard for the Martin Show. So, so it was a it was a few. So at that time, you were like a big personality in Detroit. You were still a big personality in Detroit. So the producers came to you from Martin and yes. followed you around. Yeah, they followed me around for about five weeks. Uh, and the funny thing, I mean, my celebrity was just growing. I didn't have a car. We had to walk. So there was a Chinese restaurant across from the apartment that you see in Martin. Right. That was easy for me to get to walking, <laughs> and and so they used that apartment because I was trying to take them inside of a radio station. Our station was a long way away downtown. Right. But there was a radio station next to that apartment complex. And I was just, they wanted to see inside the station. We couldn't get in. Um, so they took the apartment complex and used that in, in the show. And then you actually appeared on the show when they had a bunch of radio DJs. I appeared on the show when they had a bunch of radio DJs. And we were all standing in a long line to go in. They gave Tom Joyner the talking part. But Kim Fields comes through the line and goes, get out of that line. This is your show. It's about you. We're going to go see Topper Carew right now. So she takes me in and we go see Topper and Kim is going off about it's his show. The whole thing's patterned after him. You're letting him do this and he can't just walk through. You got to put him in episodes. Topper's going, well, we don't have a contract in place like that. So that's kind of how that fell through the cracks. At that time, radio people did not appear on television like that outside of their markets. So they were talking about California, I'm living in Detroit, and the people who were running the station panicked and tried to keep it under control because in this particular market, it was contract time for me. And there was something yeah. going on with a former television star by the name of Danny Bonaducci, who was yeah. on the Partridge family. Yeah, yeah, he was in Philadelphia. He was in Philly. So yeah. they had to pay Danny in this market, and they paid him more than me, but my ratings were way bigger than Danny's, right. and that was going to cause an issue. Right. So they tried to downplay the TV thing for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. And that's how. Uh, so, that so throughout your life, people, when people find out about it, I mean, <laughs> that, that song was so impact. That the, the show was so impactful. Yeah. So, you know, you didn't really get a piece of the action off of that. Didn't get a piece of the action. Didn't get any trademarking, uh, use of content, that's crazy. character. That's crazy. None of that. Didn't get Shanae -Nae, anything. Shanae Otis, Tommy. Yeah. Yeah. Any particular episodes that stand out that you gave them inspiration on? Like an episode of something that happened? Well, obviously they uh, used, used me in the first episode. My, uh, at least not. They used the characterization right. of a caller calling into the station saying, Mason, right. Mason, right. Mason. And Martin's going, Mason ain't here. Mason right. ain't here. So right, right. that was about as close so as I So they fired got. you on the show and stole your <laughs> idea. Absolutely. And they got rich and Martin became a superstar. He became star. a star. Oh, yeah. Well, listen. And here's here's one little other uh, close insight. Uh, radio personality, world famous comedian D.L. Hughley actually auditioned for it first. Really? Before Martin got it. Yeah. No, I can't. I couldn't see him doing that character. Yeah, he didn't get it. Because yeah. you were. I remember listening to you, like getting t tapes of you when I was in Philly, and you were just wild and crazy. Like it's so weird, surreal when you think about what Martin was doing. Right. But you were doing all of that on the radio every day in Detroit. I mean, you was a god here. Like you ran the city. Well, you know, it's been a pleasure, and we ain't done. We got one more crazy thing to do, and I All can't right. wait for you to know about it. It's well, coming uh, up, though. But you still famous in Detroit. Say why you famous in Detroit. 
Go oh, because I'm in the NBA, Detroit basketball, and of course, b -b 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 books. Yep. That's made me famous again. The legend Mason. What's your <laughs> social media so people can follow you, man? Uh, three one three. Mason, I'm on everything. You, 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 right. You'll find me. You hit that, you'll find it. It's 313 day, man. This is a D Detroit legend. Bless you. 313, we still live in the D.